And I wish the cat would stop playing with my cable. That would be fantastic. Is that quite alright of you, Sub? If you could stop chewing my cable. That would be great. Okay, right. Uh, Turmoil. Game I have not played in a... Age, actually. Uh, two years, at least. In fact, when I last played this... This was in uh, Early Access, I believe, so that's going to be interesting. We can a single game or a new campaign. Well, 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 well. We better go for a new campaign, I reckon. Oh, we can choose a character. I don't think this was here when I played it last. Uh, who should we go for? Joshua looks pretty dapper. Look at Ricardo here, though. Holy crap. We're going to go for Joshua. Howdy, partner. This dude has been herding cattle long enough to know that nights on the prairie are cold and lonely. I hope earning money with oil is as easy as throwing lassoes. Well, my friend, if you have mastered the uh, dark arts of throwing lassoes, you're probably going to uh, have no problem with this. So, Joshua, it is. Why the devil not? Hi there, future oil baron. Welcome to my soon-to-be lovely town. The oil industry will be booming here. But let's get to work. Click on the wagon and I will show you the basics of oil drilling. Well then. Fare thee well. Alright. Well, this town is, uh, well, pretty deserted, actually. Hmm. Let's see if we can uh, fix that. Click on the wagon on the right to start. Right you are. Hop on and I'll take you to the oil site. Ready to go? Aye. Let's go. Let's go get some damn oil. Welcome to your first oil mining operation. Just follow my instructions and the oil will be flowing in no time. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, I've heard that before. Before you can start drilling for oil, you have to know where to drill. Hire a dowser to take care of this. All right, we can do that. Hire a dowser is D. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give the game the D, okay. Uh, although, not in this case. In this case, the D does... Very little. That's what she said. Put the dowser here to start his search. Right, you are, boss. Nice job. Now give him a bit of time to find where the oil is. Dum de dum. Okay. We can skip the tutorial, but eh, it was probably. Oh hell, he's already there. He found oil. It's time to start drilling. Select the oil rig. Okay. Oil can always be found somewhere below a dowser. So place the rig right here. Yes, I remember that. Okay. Drag downwards from this point and release at the other point to connect to the oil. Yeah, luckily the game is telling us where the oil is. Uh, most of the time it is not that easy. Although it's, you know, not that hard either. Hey, bud. Chat working today. I hope so. Yes. Um, I don't know what happened yesterday. The chat was not working in the slightest. Apparently Ami was uh, chatting to me for ages. And I literally had no messages at all. I was like, oh man, nobody's turning up to my stream. This sucks. This is boring. Uh, turns out that the chat was just dead. Also, I caught your video earlier. Uh, I watched it. You're good. You are good. I enjoyed uh, MDK2 a hell of a lot. Uh, and the HD remake does look pretty damn promising. Uh, I might pick it up myself. I won't LP it, but um, I may... Well, I'll never say never. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I said hi and nothing happened. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's strange. Uh, I've never had that happen before. But, um, yeah, Ami uh, started messaging that because he was like, what? Why? Why? What's going on? Why is Ty not answering his messages? And I like looked over at my screen. It's like, there's nothing there. Yeah, I subbed, mate. Uh, I will add you to my, I um, can't remember what they call it now, like your your side panel on YouTube. Um, I'll add you to the clan members. You can now be a clan member officially because you have content. So that is great. You struck oil, but where should you take it? To the left ink, of course. Select the horse, wagon icon. I don't know if you're familiar with this game. Uh, I've briefly dabbled with it before. On Monday... Oh, cool. Yeah, I must admit, right, this... Okay, so I actually got to the end of, uh, end of the video, and I was like, no, more, more. Uh, you're really entertaining. Really entertaining. Um... That's alright. No, I, th I think you're doing really well. I go back and look at my early videos, mate, and they were 
garbage. Ah, most of my contents are this, but you, I think you'll do well. I think you'll do well. You, you're very um, good at explaining, uh, you know, all the different ins and outs of the game as well, which is which is cool. A lot of people like that. Um, yep, we are going to buy a horse or a wagon. Sorry, put a wagon here. It will automatically collect oil and unload it at my company. Ka-ching! Yes, ka-ching for you, maybe. Yeah, I remember actually when I was a kid, uh, MDK2 was... I found it really, really hard. Uh, I was very young at the time. Um, watching you play it earlier, you made it look so easy. It's like, wait a minute, I remember getting stuck on this quite a lot. I remember the first game was quite hard as well. Well, that's about the tenth time I... Ah, okay. Well, your quality settings and your audio was, was well, it's faultless. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely uh, perfect. This introduction ends when you've brought the cash amount back up to $1,300. Okay. This is cool. This is like a, a tycoon game where we have to mine oil, become rich, get upgrades. It's, it's a lot of fun. Very basic, but it's a lot of fun. There is a nice bit of depth apparently later on uh, as the game goes on. But I've never got that far into it, so I'm not sure. Let's head back to town. Okay. Steam community. Do you want to send an end of game screenshot to Steam community? This option can be toggled in the settings menu. No. Thank you. So we spent 800 bucks and we earned... Oh, okay. So that's our starting money. So we, we actually... Hang on. So if we had two grand to start with... And then we earn, uh, say, two, 250, say. Okay. So we still um, profited, I guess, in a way. That's kind of strange. Um, oh, uh, I've been, my week has been incredibly busy, um, as always. But after, after this week, I've got... 10 days off so i want to do loads of streaming and gaming and that kind of stuff last week we streamed um dead rising uh, and it was fun um yeah working hard uh got back to the gym as well went to the gym three times last week and then i went yesterday as well so achy achy but good good achy if that makes if there is such a thing as good achy yeah good job now it's time for the real work Come to the town hall and meet your rivals and get yourself a parcel of land for your next venture. Ah, I've also got you the, um, I went to the shop earlier. I got you some mead. I just need to send it now. So you should hopefully have that soon. Although, because obviously post offices aren't open on Sunday. Uh, might have to send it week after next when I'm on holiday. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you you think of Cornish Mead. It is so good. Okay, so let's go meet our rivals. See how the dilly everybody is doing. How's your week been anyway? Been busy or just uh, chillaxing? Oh yes, I was expecting you. What can I do for you? Well, Matt. Um, yeah, also, if you ever get the chance to try this stuff, Church's Ginger Beer, man alcoholic ginger beer you know this stuff is immense not quite up to Krabby's ginger beer but it's all right it's all right um let's go to the world map are you ready for your own parcel of land let's take a look at the map all right let's do this um incidentally i know all about re-rendering and videos screwing up <sighs> now on friday Resident Evil uh, 7, uh, Not a Hero, should have gone up. Yeah, Kr Krabby's is actually... Uh, mm, it is better than this, I think. It's better than this one. This one is very good, but Krabby's has the edge. But this one's a lot cheaper. Aldi's. Um, yeah, so Resident Evil 7, Not a Hero, should have gone up on Friday. <clears throat> now, I recorded all of those like four weeks ago. Now, when it went to editing the video after work... I noticed that all the videos were garbled and out of sync and everything, and I was like, oh, it's just... I came home, I did, I don't know, I did like 11 hours, and I thought, ah, just upload the video, make the thumbnail quickly, and I sat down and I was just like, brilliant, this this is great, this this is what YouTubing is all about, 
So today I actually um, deleted the whole lot and started re-recording it. So that should be starting on Monday. Fingers crossed. Welcome everybody. Let's first introduce ourselves. Howdy partner. This dude has been herding cattle long enough to know that nights on the prairie are cold and lowly. I hope earning money with oil is as easy as throwing lassoes. Oh, I'm sure it is even easier, my friend. Delighted to make your acquaintance. I made a nice living in real estate. It's time for a new business plan. I'm going underground. I don't like to dilly-dally, so let's get to work. Well, that's daisy. Hello there. Does being a lawyer sound interesting? No, it does not. Well, in truth, it's kind of boring. I, I would agree with you. And I couldn't handle it. I have a serious case of oil fever, and the only cure is finding oil. Okay, Blanche. Well, we will certainly endeavor to do our best. Uh, buenos dias. I have sailed the world as a ship captain for years, and I can't even swim. Probably not a wise choice, then. Uh, I don't worry about drowning anymore, unless it's in money. Yeah. Well, Ricardo, I'm sure you will have your chance. You'll all have your chance. Um, video software, eh? Ah, bugger. <clears throat> um, oh, cool. I cannot, after seeing what you've already put up with MDK2, I cannot wait to see you play my summer car. Oh, that game. That game. Rah. <laughs> it should be garbage and terrible, but it's not. It's brilliant. I don't know. Yeah, very much looking forward to that. Did you figure out what screwed up the recording? I have no idea. I... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I didn't actually check all of the videos. I only checked the first two, and they were both garbled. And I, I didn't want to just re-record the first two because then you got to remember what you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's um, incontinuity issues then with the later on episodes, so I just scrapped the lot. Shadow play does screw up from time to time. It's very rare, especially since it's come out of beta, but it does happen, and when it happens. It's frustrating. But like I say, these days it's pretty much 100%. But yeah, just occasionally. So, I don't know. Let me assign you to your own piece of land. The first one is on the house. Free land! Excellent. It's so amazing. Oh yes. It certainly is. Great piece of land. This one will be mine. Oh yeah, this is where the oil is. Excellent. I would love a name in the crew for FTL. Absolutely. In fact, I almost, almost did FTL tonight. Uh, I was trying to message everybody to see if anyone wanted to stream and nobody messaged me back. So I was like, okay, single player, no problem. Um, and then I saw that Turmoil was like six quid and it's like, yeah, I haven't played this in ages. Now it's full release. I want to give it a go. But yes, definitely want to be a crew member. Okay, so we have our first spot of land. Good day. To celebrate the opening of uh, my brand new bank, I've opened an account for each of you. You can also visit me to view a financial report of your last venture. Well, thank you very much, William. That is a fantastic hat you're wearing, and uh, I approve of the face fuzz also. Yeah, I've, I've played uh, FTL quite a lot. I think I've only ever completed it I want to say twice, but in actual reality, it might only be once. It's a very, very hard game. But it's so fun. I love roguelikes. Alright, so let's go to the bank. Welcome to my bank. Here we can talk money. I hate talking money. I hate money. I don't. I love money. Like, everybody loves money. But we love to hate it. Let's, let's just say that. Short on cash. I can lend you some for an interest of 20% per year. 20% per year. That's... It's about, it's actually better than my credit card, so, ugh. Okay, no, go away. Um, let's dig. 
We can't buy any upgrades yet, so we're just going to have to go as is. Let's get that oil. We're taking 2,000 with us to cover the startup costs. Are you ready to go? Well, Jill, yes, I am. Yes, I am. We have 20G in the bank, so we're quite good. All right, you know the drill. <laughs> you know the, you know the, <laughs> yeah. Hire dowsers to find oil and build a rig to drill straight down. Okay. Let's get a couple of dowsers out. Let's give the game the D. There we go. Get a couple. And we're going to buy rigs. Now, there is an upgrade that you can get really early on. Um... I'm trying to remember if you actually start with that. Is that actually an upgrade? Or do you start with that? I can't remember. Where you can actually get multiple pipes from one rig. Come on, guys. Time is money here. Ah, there you go. Good man. Good man. Right, so we're going to put a rig there. Drill straight down. Jeez, these pipes are seriously expensive. Because to start with, you have to just put rigs everywhere. Because uh, can we... Yeah, there we go. We, we have a branch limit. So we can only have one pipe per thingy. It's unwise to sell at the price Left Ink is offering now. It's better to first store your oil. Yes, I know about silos. So we can build silos to store our oil. Uh, the prices from Left Ink will fluctuate up and down. Uh, 62 cents on the dollar is actually shockingly bad. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, the oil price always fluctuates heavily. Keep a close eye on it. Aye. If the oil price is to your liking, use this arrow to send wagons to my place. They will fill up and convert oil to money at Left Ink. Excellent. Don't you love how that works? If oil price is getting too low, use this arrow to stop selling. Your wagons will unload it again at silos. Thank you for being so honest, Kyle. Kyle's basically told us if he's giving us a shitty deal... He will quite happily uh, let us stop selling. Breach of contract, I would have thought. Oh, well. Levels are time-based. This level ends on March 31st. Yes, yes. We only have till March. Later on, I think you do get the entire year. Uh, resume game. Also, this game has wonderful music. Not quite FTL level wonderful music, but probably get some wagons as well. If you're low on cash, aren't we all sometimes? I, William, I. Uh, you can take out a loan against a very reasonable interest rate. Click on the cash counter uh, to open the finance window. No, thank you. You can go and um, piss off, matey. We're certainly not uh, taking out your ridiculous loans. And guys, we're not selling. Not at that price. Now, your oil derricks will overflow as well, which is quite problematic. You can see where the oil is in the pipe. But that's not something you have to worry about right now. Now, one thing, H, that I remember about MDK, actually, is uh, some of the later levels. Over a dollar, if it's over a dollar, we're going to holler. Get over there, guys. Yeah, one thing I remember about um, M yeah, MDK2 is the docks levels. No... That is becoming a bad deal. That is becoming a bad deal. Yeah, the mothership is like so... Oh, the flagship is so inconsistent. I've had some amazing um, builds that I thought were literally unstoppable. And you just get to the flagship and you just get wrecked. Literally hammered. Right, go sell, guys. Go sell, go sell. Guys, we need more horses. We need more horses. We're going to spill. What was I saying about we're not going to spill? And here we are almost spilling. Come on. There we go. Don't want too many horses because this is really going to eat into our profits right now. You know what? We're just going to continuously sell. It doesn't matter. Oh, the drone storm sucks. Yeah, when you get a build together that you think is literally untouchable and you're just wrecking every ship you come across with ease. And you've got a fully powered up crew as well. Everyone's like max level and you think you're you're on top of the world. Ah, and out of nowhere, you just get absolutely smashed. It's so annoying because a run of that game can be... I've had runs last about an hour and 40 minutes before. If you like maximize the whole thing. And yeah, just to get absolutely dominated at the last hurdle 
But there's something about that game that you just cannot get mad. You literally cannot get mad at it. it it's so fun. The graphics are, are really cool. Well, the art style, really. Last month, sell, sell, sell. It doesn't matter now, I'm just sell. Yeah, the graphics are really cool. They do the job. Um, and the sounds, the sound in that game is just wonderful. And we're getting such a shitty deal right now. This is embarrassing. As long as we make a profit, that's all that matters. This was essentially a free level. Yeah, Doc, uh, Doc Hawkins levels are good. I always remember that as a kid. Running around, like, fixing things with duct tape and stuff. <laughs> yes, I will create nothing. There's actually, um, as you said earlier, it is, um, I can't remember what you said now. Uh, it is a unique game or something to that effect. And it really is, man. It really is. I mean, you've got the shoot 'em up levels. You've got the, uh, like, the Doc Hawking levels are more, like, adventure-esque. Almost point and click. Um, with the uh, moon logic. <laughs> you get way too mad. Yeah. We did terrible there, but it's our first run. You, you expect to get terrible. We need the upgrades. If you fully mine out all the oil. Okay, so we did profit. If you mine out all of the oil, you get a bonus. I can rage, but I, I try not to. Like, you can feel yourself internally coiled up. Like, uh, you're just going to, like, smash the table or something. But you're like, enhance my calm. And everything is right with the world again. So yes, we are Joshua. We made our money back mostly. We actually made more money. Whoa, he, these guys lost money. Did someone fall asleep at the wheel? She made like <laughs> some pocket change. We made pocket change. Well, we care not for our audience. For our audience, for our opponents. We love the audience very much. Howdy, my name is Fred. Fred Metal. Yeah, I like that. Fred Metal. Are you looking to make your oil mining operation more efficient? Come to my factory to upgrade your gear. Well, Fred, you, sir, have a deal. Gears and bolts. What technologies do you want me to improve for your oil operations? We want branched. Oh, man. We can't. Oh, no, we can afford branch too. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so we can upgrade. I found a way to increase the capacity of your pipes. Highly recommended. It is, but it's expensive. We probably don't need that now. Um, turns out you can build an extra layer on top of an existing silo to make it bigger. Who would have thunked it, eh? I modified the joints between the pipes, so you can now connect three pipes to each joint. Very, very, very good. Very good. Rigs are now better resistant to high pressure, so they are less likely to spill. Sweet. How is the uh, audio and everything? H7, good. Right, down to 8,000 buckazoids. Branch, three. Five, pi five pipes to each joint. I did not know there was such a thing. Well, all righty then. Okay, well, let's go grab ourselves. Ooh. Uh, we don't care about my monies. No, we do not want to... Yeah. Hang on. Thank God for that. Yes, 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 Mr. Fred Metal. Have I got to buy that upgrade again? I have. God damn it. There we go. That arrow is so annoying. Audio is good. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. Uh, land auction. Let's go. Let's go buy ourselves a juicy piece of land. Uh, so, 40 is actually quite oil rich, as we saw in the last uh, last level. In fact, that was ridiculously oil rich. We could have made some serious bank there if we had the equipment. Um, open for bids. I, you know what? Let's go there. Whip eight. Hey, no, you son of a bitch. That's my land. Is he gonna outbid me? So that just cost us three grand. So we need to make back three grand before we even start, and that does not cover the cost. Of setting up five grand this is gonna cost us because you take two grand with you all right let's ride yep taking two thousand dollars with us what would be a nice feature is if you could take more than two grand if you could afford it but then maybe that would give you a very unfair start 
Who knows? Let's go. Right. Ah, left ink and right ink can now open. From now on, levels will run from January to June 30. June 30? That's interesting. So we're still only getting seven months. Right you are, boss. Right you are. Okay. Let's get some dousers out. Uh, looking for another place to sell your oil? Come see me. At my place, the price is always right. <laughs> yes. Well, fair enough, my friend. Fair enough. Your price is probably going to be better than uh, left ink. At least it is now. But for how long? But for how long? Come on, guys. I mean, what is this? Come on. Find me some oil. We're a third of the way through our first month already, and you give me nothing. Gonna be drunk before we actually struck oil. Thank you. Give the man a medal. Right. Ooh. You can now connect three pipes to each joint. Well, yes, Fred. I did just buy that upgrade. Thank you. Um, so if he finds one nearby, that'd be great. It's probably too far. No, that's still cost efficient because it's going to cost 300. Yeah, because it costs 300 and then the pipes. That That's still efficient, I think. Hey, it said three pipes. One, two. That's two pipes. Okay, well, for now, we'll spend the rest on some wagons. How much? We'll do just about for the silo, so we do that. Right, so we're draining that. Um, I'm not going to sell unless we're above a dollar. Right, and we need... Well, we are going to have to sell, though. Go on. Go sell that oil. Let's start generating some cash. We still don't have the full years yet, which is a pain. Also, I thought there was a fast-forward button up here. But, uh, not, I guess. Kind of interesting. Come on, we really need to get this oil pipe going. I think you lose pressure as well. I know there is a pressure dynamic to this game, but I'm not 100% sure how it works. Aha! Oil! There we go. Right, now we should be draining some serious juice right now. Alright, go over there. We're actually getting some fairly good money from these now. 150? Definitely need some more wagons. That is filling up quicker now. Now there's two pipes. I suppose that makes sense. Wagon is W. That makes sense. Come on, can we get... Oh, there. We're above a dollar over there. That is financially feasible. Go get them, boys. We're already on March. Damn. We need to start bringing home the bacon. I have a feeling that this silo was a wasted cost. A wasted expense, I should say. Right, let's drill you down. Should probably get another dowser, see if there's any more oil around, but yeah. Later on you get scanners and things that you can scan underground for, obviously. Which um, really help things out as I'm sure you can imagine. Now let's get a couple of dowsers. Well one more dowser. Don't want to go mad. Alright, so left ink is still the best place. Right ink is 86, so yeah, nah, we're good. We're good. We 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 stay fast. We hold fast, I should say. Oh we do probably need some more wagons though. It's surprising how many wagons you can actually use. Ooh, ooh, it's below a dollar. You know what? If it's below a dollar. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, where's that to? Don't want to have to build another derrick if I don't have to, because that is an expense that I'm just not willing to pay. Come on. Where's your oil, buddy? Where's your oil? There we go. There we are. Struck gold. Black gold. Still no decent prices. Let's fill the oil there. 
Go, horsey, go. Yes. You can eventually upgrade them. Uh, make them faster and carry uh, bigger loads. Not really sure how that works. Maybe we drug them up. I don't know. We could actually breach. We could branch that one over there, but it's probably not worth it. Damn it, these guys are not giving us any good prices. Come on, let me see that go above a dollar. Come on. Do it for your old pal. We're spending a lot on horses, but at the end of it, it probably will pay off. It's going back up over here. Come on, let's see a dollar. Let's see a dollar. Or at least as close as you humanly will take us. 83, 84. Oh! I take it you didn't catch our live stream yesterday. Me and Matt were playing, um... Ooh, it's getting competitive. Me and Matt were playing, um... Player Unknown. And, uh, we had probably the most amazing, um, game that we'd, we've ever had. It, we were playing duos, obviously, as two of us. And, uh, we came second overall. But it was such an intense game. It was so good. There we go, we're above a dollar now. Sell, sell, sell. Come on, guys. One May. Let's hope May brings amazing profits. Yes, I'm here all night, folks. There we go, we're skyrocketing now. And I want to know where my fast forward button is. Maybe it's something to do with the tutorial. The fact that we're still in a tutorial, maybe. I am very much looking forward to seeing you play Commandos 2 as well. Yes, the chat, yeah, of course, the chat was balked and, oh god, let's just get horses. Come on, guys, just sell, sell, sell. There's no point taking any of this oil home. Come on, drain those reserves. Yeah, the chat was balked. Oh, also, you couldn't hear Nat's chat, or Nat's commentary on my end either, but that was on her... Um, that was on her bloody end, not mine. I was uploading and forgot the potato internet can't up and down. Yeah, yeah, I remember those pains very well, my friend. Oh, sell, sell, sell. I'm scrolling the chat on my second window. There we go. Come on. Get that last load of oil. Look at that, we barely scratched it. We barely scratched it. We could have made so much money there, but we just don't have the equipment yet to drain the oil. I have never seen oil reserves this big on the opening levels. This is cruel, because you can't drain oil like that. Not this early. Unbelievable. Um, right. Oh, dude, you should, uh, you should pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Actually, how much is it on CD keys? I haven't checked for a while. Um... Oh, so, nice to meet you. I'm Edward, and I'm a bit of a handyman. I like to experiment with stuff that can help you find oil. Make sure to check out my inventions. All right, what have you got? Ah, depth two. Mole is really good. Buy some of my stuff, you won't regret it. We don't really have the ability to afford your stuff. Improve the dousing rod so dousers can search deeper. That's quite good, but we don't need that yet. Tired of dowsers taking forever? This will make them find oil faster. That's quite nice. Would you like to have this lovely mole here? Dig for you, but he's kind of erratic. Moles are good, but you need a lot of them. Scanner is where it's at. The scanner is amazing. But uh, yeah, it's well out of our price range right now. Sadly. Right, so. Size 2 is nice, but we don't really have the finances for it. No! So let's just um, get a land auction and get out of here. 
52. Are you serious? I've never seen a 52. Yeah, it's still a nice saving, man. Let's keep going. This is my land. PUBG is a strange one. Um, it's kind of a hard game to recommend if you don't have people to play with. Like, single player on it is... I don't know, it's okay. But multiplayer is where it's at for that game. Um, but then, you know, you need to have at least three other players to play with, because... Oh, I suppose you can do duos. But... Four-player squads is easier. Although, having said that, when you're playing with duo, it is easier to coordinate. Uh, I use CD keys, but yeah, I mean, generally I have a, a look around. I have about four or five that I use. But CD keys is the main one. I'm trying to think of some of the others I use. Um, there's key... Keyjin, Keyjin as well, something like that. That's quite good. Um, I think you can type in all keys net. Is it all keys net? Yeah, something like that, and it will come up. It's like compare the market for CD keys. It will show you, um, well, Steam keys. It will show you like the cheapest. Uh, right, let's go. Dig. Dowsers, go. But PUBG, to be fair, like it never really goes down in price. I mean, 16 quid, that's really cheap. It rarely gets that cheap. I think when I bought it, it was like 18 pounds, I think. And for a game that's as buggy and messy as it is, yeah. Right. Now, that's not to say it's not a good game, because it is. But it is very, very uh, rough. I think we've drilled too far here. My god, that, that is a pocket of oil, all right. That is what we're talking about. Let's get three wagons. This will get us started. Go over there. Prices are already falling. not good yeah one of the best things to do is say if you're looking for a game just type in um, game name and um, uh, steam key and then it should come up with a load of uh, different bits and bobs well prices are plummeting right now come on But during the early game, you just got to generate as much cash as you can. Right, second pocket, got. If we had width two, we could now upgrade these pipes and make them bigger. And that would extract the oil quicker. Right, let's get some more dousers going. I very much doubt these guys are going to find anything. And that itchy ear always strikes. Come on, guys. Let's see some of that sweet, sweet black gold. Uh, you know what? We're not selling for that money. Oh, it's definitely worth 16 quid. I mean, it's worth the money, you know, uh, for sure. Oh, God. No, 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 guys, guys, go collect oil. We're going to over... Oh, now we've overflowed. Bugger. Spilling oil is extremely expensive. Um, it's going to be difficult to come back from that. Okay. We really need more than three wagons. Man, these prices suck. We've got no cash, so the only thing we can really do, because I am not selling oil for that much money. No way. 
Yeah, exactly. It lets you play with your friends. I mean, that's why. That sounds wrong. Oh, we've. Oh. Oh, we've got more oil there. More oil there. Right. We need to get cracker lacking. Oh man, we're gonna have to start selling. We're gonna have no choice. Come on, left ink. You're closer to us. You'd be m the much better option right now. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, and it's always nice to have like a third, third, fourth. Well, yeah, technically a third extra person. All right, sell, sell the oil. Look, don't just stand there, you turkeys. I mean, honestly, what kind of operation is this? Right now, what we can do is get more wagons because we're gonna overflow. Come on, sell that stuff. Sell that stuff. Right, mine. Wagons, wagons, wagons. Right, that will do for now. Keep selling there because we're over. A... Hey, Nat, welcome. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you pick it up at that price, you're definitely going to get your money's worth. So highly recommended. Man, they're both giving us competitive rates right now. The pressure, as they say, is on. How's your day been, Nat? Right, let's branch out to there. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. No, sell, 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 sell. It's more than a dollar. We're going to holler. Come on. All right, let's get over there. Don't know how big this well is. I think we might have already uh, exhausted it. Which kind of sucks. Come on. Where's that oil? Give me that sweet... Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at the price. We need more. We need more wagons. That's excellent. We've... Uh... Have we actually... I think we've breached that one now. All right, come on. See a massive fat pocket of the sweet, sweet oil. There we are. Right. Good, good, good. We're already on May. Seriously? 132. This is ridiculous. Actually tempted. Let's get another rig. Oh, hell, you can't. We can kind of do that. That works. Okay, the extra pulling power of a second rig will massively be. Uh, to our advantage right now. There we go. See the difference. Oh, no way. Uh, sorry to hear that, Matt. Ah, X speeds things up. Ah, excellent. Thank you. I was just moaning to H. Last month. And say, I'm sure there used to be a speed up button. You know what, considering it's the last month, we're just going to sell, sell, sell. Was he an old dog, was he? There's nothing, <laughs> nothing fun about uh, doing that. I remember when I had to uh, take my cat to the vet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not good. Um, right, so we kind of made a little bit of... Spillage fine was almost a thousand dollars. Ouch. And that was only spilling for seconds as well. Not even a second, I don't think. So that really racks up. Ooh. We actually had a little bit of competition here. These guys were kind of pulling their own weight. Kind of. Right. Hello there. I'm Rainer, the trainer. I take care of the horses and keep them healthy and ready for work. Drop by my stables and maybe, maybe we can help each other. About 10 years. He's a greyhound, so you still right. Damn. He's 10 years old, eh? That's really harsh. It's so hard as well to make the make the choice to, when you've got to take them. Oh, no. It's one thing I I remember when my yeah when my first cat died. I was like, that's it. I'm never having pets again because it's just heartbreaking. But you know, 
you got a half pets. Do you want your horses to perform better? You've come to the right place. New training method makes the horses stronger so they can pull larger wagons. $15,000! Holy crap! Keep track of how many horses you have with a handy horse counter. What? That, that's not important. I will buy 10 extra horses so you can now have 25 of them. Yeah, we, we're nowhere near capacity right now. So did you did you used to race him or did you buy him after he was a racehorse? Or get him, I suppose. Was he like a rescue dog, was he? You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Uh, welcome to my bank. Here we can talk money. Yeah, we're not going to talk money. We want to talk upgrades. Um, we still don't have a lot of money. Width 2 would be really good, but that's just going to leave us so short of cash. Uh, we're going to have to bail on it for now. Let's just um, land auction. So the oil is uh, tapering off a little bit now. Um, ah, we can actually um, go over here. That's interesting. We could take a gamble on one of these. Uh, I don't know. I can't believe we had a 52. 52. We couldn't even maximize it. 33. 31. Rescue Greyhound, yeah. Uh, I had a friend that um, had a rescue with it. And yeah, he, she, is it she or, I think it was a she. Um, she was really badly abused when he uh, took on. Uh, she was terrified of everybody. Horrible. A creature, especially a dog, she's never looked like that. But yeah, you know, it is the kind of thing to do. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember, like, cause we had we had two cats basically. I had um, my cat Spike, and my brother had a cat called Diva. Now Spike died years ago, like six years um, before Diva, and Diva was actually older than him, which is crazy. Um, but I remember she got really, really ill. Uh, her legs went and everything. And I was saying to my brother, like, I was saying for like a month, maybe two months, like, I don't want to keep saying this, man, but she, I mean, she didn't know where she was. Her legs were gone. She had no teeth left. It was really painful for her to eat. And it was just, so yeah, making that decision to have an animal put down is, it's heartbreaking, it is. And that journey to the vets is just, yeah, it's something you don't forget. So, yeah, I, I know how hard it is. It's horrible, absolutely horrible. Let's go. So when people say, you know, oh, it's just a dog, oh, it's just a cat, blah, 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 blah. They're not real family members. I disagree. It is the worst. I completely, uh, yeah, I disagree. I mean, I moan about my cats all the time, but I would not be without them. I love my cats. They're amazing. Unfortunately, especially Cloud, she's getting old. She's, uh, she's really old now. Um, but she's still like a kitten. In fact, she was chasing me around earlier because of my hoodie bits in my hoodie she was uh chewing me and chewing my face which uh she likes to do so i think she's still good for a while right let's drill there and sometimes as you say it is an adva uh, uh, the advantage of being at work is it keeps your mind occupied there's nothing worse than being at home alone with your thoughts uh, as it were yeah it's not good 
Come on, buddy. Find me. Oh, God. What am I doing? I don't even have any damn horses. Um. But at least you, you know. You always got your memories. That's what I always think. Whenever I feel sad about little Spikey, I always think of all the stupid stuff he used to do. Like, I remember I woke up once. Um, I heard this really strange sound. Um, it was like the most bizarre, weird kind of, almost like a like a hissing sort of sound. And I was like, what the hell is that? And um, uh, I, it was coming from behind my TV. And I was like, whoa. I was like, I have no idea. And I, I was saying to the ex, like, because she woke up and she was like sketching out. And I was like, right, stay there. This, this is something weird's going on here. Went around the back of the TV because there's this massive banging, crashing sound. Turns out, somehow, he had got behind my TV, hung himself on a HDMI cable, and he was just flopping around like a fish. I... What... What a dumbass. Like, I've never had intelligent pets, but he, he, always, made, he always made me laugh. Uh, whenever I get down, I always think about it. And um, another thing that he did as well, which was quite funny, is he put his... Um, he used to like hot things, like fires. We had an electric bar fire um, years ago. Uh, as a kitten, he just walked up to it and he put both of his front paws on it and got in a fight with a badger as well, lost badly. Um, that was... Oh, God, that was interesting. Uh, and I remember when I was very young as well, we was having a campfire out in the back garden. Was it Was it the back garden or were we inside? I can't remember now. But, no, it was in the back garden, yeah. And we were cooking marshmallows. And uh, my marshmallow caught fire. And Spike was, always, was underneath me. He was like my twin. He was always with me. Um, and uh, my marshmallow fell off and fell on his head. And it was literally on the top of his head, burning. He didn't care, he didn't even notice. But he had this amazing bold spot for, for quite a few uh, weeks after that. Uh, he was the dumbest creature that ever lived. But he was mine, and uh, well, I hate to say that, mine. You, you don't really own a pet, but yeah, he's my little boy. And even now, like 12 years later, I always think about him. So much character. Right, go on. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. But, um, I certainly would like another rabbit. Uh, yeah, because when uh, I split up with the ex, she took the rabbit. Um, well, I kind of said it was okay. I, br I brought the rabbit to her anyway. But he was amazing. He was so funny. He used to like charge around the house because um, he was an indoor rabbit. Um, it's kind of a myth that you should leave rabbits outside. They don't really get on with it very well. Um, could we? Is that worth the expense? Possibly. Um, but yeah, he, he always used to cheer me up after work. He used to charge around the house. He used to do these weird backflips in the air. And when I was gaming or recording, he would sit on my shoulder. And yeah, it was awesome. Have you got any pets, H? In fact, I'm surprised my cats aren't here right now. They were here earlier. This does not bode well. I don't think we're going to be earning much money today. Oh, guinea pigs. Yes. Guinea pigs are so funny. We used to have a couple. Um, I think my other two brothers had one each, if I remember correctly. I think. And I love their hair. They've got those Elvis, Elvis quiffs. And they're amazing. Shoulder rabbit. I'm telling you. Uh, everyone talks about a parrot on your shoulder. Try having a rabbit on your shoulder. They're so cool. And uh, rabbits purr as well when they're happy or content 
But it's not like a cat purr, it's more like a chatter, because they grind their teeth together. A kitty and a wabbit. Cats and rabbits are amazing. Yeah. Trying to find somewhere that allows pets as well is uh, quite a challenge, to say the least. I mean, my, my um, youngest cat, Stubbs, he's basically a cabbit. You know, he doesn't, he, he looks like a weird cross between a rabbit and a cat. He's this massive barrel thing. I wish he was here. Oh, dead. Stubbs! Ooh. I was feeding them treats earlier. See if I can uh, attract the attention of one. Nope. They would definitely be here by now if there was, if they were in here. Uh... Again, we haven't really made a lot of money here. I mean, technically, we have made a bit of money, but not enough. We need... Oh, look at that massive load of oil there. Look at all this oil. But we can't douse deep enough. Unacceptable. Well, we... Oh, man. Blanche is... Uh... Whoa! Everybody is in the money except for us. Perhaps we upgraded too early. Maybe. Let's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool stuff. Uh, hiya, welcome to my bar. Make yourself comfortable and mingle with the crowd. They may have some interesting offers. Right, okay. So, Daphne actually has some really cool... Yeah, this game... One thing that I've noticed with this game, uh, when I watched... Who did I watch play this? Splattercat Gaming. Fantastic channel, by the way. Um... By the time he had all the cool upgrades, there was so little oil on the levels. Uh, we don't want that. We see what deals we have. Tired of low prices? Slip me some cash and the price at Left Ink will never go below 80, 86 cents. 80, or oh, 68 cents. Oh, that's not even worth my time. Does lower interest sound interesting? Pay me some cash and I'll reduce next year's interest rates by 30%. Waste of time. You disappoint me, Daphne. You disappoint me. Um, I'm tempted to get a loan, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Size 2 would be nice. Which is your character? I'm Joshua. Um, might get ah oh no we really can't afford much speed two might be cool I suppose but both of these we need uh, improve the dousing rod so dousers can search deeper yeah go on got to spend money to make money I suppose um, that doesn't leave us a lot of money to play with to be honest. Uh, we're actually quite poor. Look at Daisy. Daisy is like bloody Scrooge McDuck. Literally, God, doing the breaststroke in bloody gold coins. Uh, 37, 36. So it's going down along that axis. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Let's go over here. I don't know how wise this is going to be. Too expensive! No, we don't need to do it. Why, why are you telling me it's too expensive? We're literally going to have $309 left after this. Well, Jill. This better be a profitable adv uh, adventure. Otherwise, we're kind of hosed. From now on, levels will run from... Ah, right, we've got full year-long levels now. The dowsers will now be able to look for deeper oil wells. Yes, Edward, thank you very much, my friend. I have just caught that. Um, right, let's... Let's get this going. Ah, now we can do that. Oh, that's cool. So, like you said, it's X to speed it up. But even though that button wasn't there, we can still speed up. That's kind of interesting. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. Time is money. Time is money. Yeah, man. Right. Excellent. 
Yes, perfect. So, two loads of oil very close to each other. This could be good. We really need to turn this around. Go on, there you go. Uh, let's get two wagons to start with. Possibly an oil well as well, or oil silo. Store the oil. We need really good prices. Otherwise, we are so boned. Yes. Noise. No, let's get some more dousers on the go. We are so out of cash right now as well. We are literally scraping the bottom of the barrel. Do you wish things could move a bit quicker sometimes? Press and hold the fast forward button. I'm sorry, my friend, but Nat has already told me this. Right. You know what? Sell. Once it's approaching a dollar, it's all good. So, H, when are you going to do a um, XCOM run? Ooh. Ah. Excellent. This we can do. This is going to cost a little bit more than we can muster right now. Damn, we need more wagons. Damn it. Yeah, this game is very slow with the advice. I was playing Final Fantasy World earlier as well. And my god, talk about advice. There are so many redundant tutorials in that game. I think I've put about three hours into it now. And so much of it is just been, this is how save points work. Oh, by the way, this is how checkpoints work. Did you know you can save your game at these doors? It's like... And it goes over the same information time and time and time and time and time again. Do not sell. That's going down. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. It's like, come on, game. I, I mastered save points when I was two. Honestly. Right, we need to get a Derek there. Although... Mm -hmm, maybe we could put Derek here. Because uh, we need more suction power. There's not enough power from this. Come on, guys. Get that out of the ground. Suck the ground dry. Or we're going to be in serious dire straits. And not the good kind. Not the kind that you can uh, jam along to. Money for Nothing is such a good track. Timeless. Romeo and Juliet. Very good. Brothers in Arms. Dire Straits, excellent band. A very dad band, but um, yeah. Come on, we're still not. You know what? Ah. Silo, silo. We're going to bank this. I'm not selling it for this. This is ridiculous. This is a waste of my time at these prices. Uh oh. Yeah, guys, guys, guys. Come on. There we go. I mean, it's in their interest to give me a good price. They need the oil to make money. We're on April already. Ah. That gets... Ooh, ooh, left ink is going up. Maybe after Commandos. I can imagine Commandos is a long game. Um, I always remember the title music for that game. I used to... Because I only had the demo as a kid. And I used to put it on all the time, and I would just leave it on the um, the main menu, and I'd listen to it as I went to sleep. Amazing. Was that that might have been Commandos 2 that I had the demo for? But yeah, that game was brutally difficult. Really good. Uh, having one long-term game at a time is good for me. Yeah. What, what time are you planning on doing your streams on a Friday? Because I would like to watch them. But, I got my own streams as well. Mostly going to be streaming on Fridays. Yes, oil! Right, uh, there's no point jacking into that. Come on, guys. Let's get that money flowing. Damn it, this is not going well. 
It's a shame there's no multiplayer component to FTL. Although I'm not really sure what they would do. There's no point banking any more of this oil. Who's, where, where, where? Ooh, whereabouts? You sneaky little sausage. Where are you hiding that to? Oh, damn. And you got some too. Nice. Come on, buddy. Let's get these uh, oil out of the ground. Yeah, man. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We need to seriously, hardcore, earn some profit out of this. Or little Joshua's kids are having no tea tonight. Lumps of coal. It's going to be all they can hope for for Christmas. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Nope. Nope. Come on. There we are. Hey, Axel. Welcome, buddy. Oh, you're just going to do them as videos. Oh, okay. That's cool. That makes it easier for me to to watch. All right. Let's get some more dousers. How have you been, Axel? I know you don't speak a lot of English, but I hope you can understand what I am saying. Oh, man. This is going to positively suck. Like, start banking the money, guys. Bank the money. Uh, bank the oil, because this is ridiculous. Ooh. Didn't really want to go for a third silo, but if it means more money, we we'll spend money to make money. And I should have brought more beer earlier. Damn it. Come on. Come on, give me something good. Oh, do you think there's no more oil left? Oh, yeah, in the ground. Click on the cash counter and withdraw your land lease. Ending the game before December 1st. Yeah, it does earn you a bonus. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This oil has got to be as deep as it can go. Come on. I am seriously... No Dead Rising 2 tonight, my friend. Uh, I was hoping to do some Dead Rising 2 with my brother, but he's busy with his missus playing Ark. So I was either going to do FTL. Man, we're wasting so much money doing this. Go sell to Left Bank. Come on. Branch limit reached. Damn. Yeah, well, hopefully we are going to finish um, Dead Rising soonish. I am on holiday. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I'm on holiday next week. So, no, week after next. There we go. There it is. There it is. There's the oil. There's the oil. Trouble is, we've got so many open pipes now. This is going to cut down on the suction massively. Let's just get loads of... There we go. Yeah, so uh, week after next. So hopefully we're going to do a lot of streaming. Uh, all sorts of games. And um, I don't know. Just get as much, uh, as much done as possible. I'm missing the Dead Rising at the moment. After Dead Rising, we've got Resident Evil 6 to do, which is going to be interesting. Um, Left 4 Dead 2 as well, which I've never played. Uh, however, I did see my ex and my brother play it a heck of a lot. So I kind of know the gist of it. Oh, H. Have you got Dead Ro Left 4 Dead 2? They should be able to sell the soil. They should be okay. We should have enough time left. It's August. Um, the only problem is we're getting lousy prices. Really lousy prices. But, kind of at that point in the level where you just got to sell. Let's get another dowser out and see what you can find. Although they can't go deep enough, sadly. 
Come on, 73 on the dollar. That is ridiculous. 73. Come on. What's the price of oil these days? It's like $100 a barrel. Oh, if it's going to drop down much further. September, though. We need to sell. That's only a tiny pocket of oil. That probably was very inefficient building that. Eh. Come on, guys. Get this done. No point getting any more wagons. You know, as much as it hurts, let's just bank that. <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I do. You do? You do what? I, I've lost myself. There's more oil here somewhere? Just sell. Yeah, you're probably right. Just sell. You kids and your damn memes. I actually had a really good app on my phone that um, keeps you up to date on all the memeage. The steamed hams one was pretty good. It'd be more expensive than milk one day. Or oil, isn't it already? Branch reached. Come on. Is there even any point in mining? Anymore? Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Extract and... 400. Probably worth it. Hell, oil is ridiculously expensive. Although... Uh, the UK is phasing out internal combustion engines by, what was it, 20, 2035, I believe. We had, oh god, we had all the, um, the information about that work the other day. Is it 2030? 20, 20, yeah, 2035. So apart from commercial vehicles and agricultural vehicles, um, everything is going to be uh, electric. Oh, uh, military, of course, will keep the internal combustion engine. But the trouble is, like, batteries, man, they are, um, they're so pollutive, you know? And they're very expensive. And, um, they're also really hard to recycle. And if you buy an electric car, you've got to replace the batteries every five years anyway. Because I know lithium iron and lithium polymer batteries, they're good for between 500 and 1,000 cycles. So after that, they're useless. You've got to throw them away and replace them. I don't know what batteries um, electric cars would use, actually. It wouldn't be the zinc batteries anymore, I wouldn't have thought. Hmm. I'm going to have to look that up. I do have Left 4 Dead 2, and I would love to slay zombies with the... Excellent. This has actually been our most profitable run yet. It has actually not been too bad. That was a serious expense. Oh, hydrogen fuel cells. When I was an engineer, we were learning about hydrogen fuel cells. Man, we were going to have hydrogen fuel cells in our laptops, in our phones in our toilets everything what happened to that oh yeah hydrogen's really really expensive that's what happened to that i remember yeah you'd be able to power your laptop off um, one charge for what was it for about a day a day no it's more like a week something ridiculous yeah Yeah, that is exactly the problem with electric cars. Electric cars are a great idea. Um, and that is where we do need to be uh, focusing on. Because internal combustion is a way obsolete and inefficient technology. And it is just really bad for the planet. But electric cars are just in their absolute infancy. I mean, the great thing about uh, electric cars is there's instant power. Um, because there's no engine spin-up or anything like that. 
Um, they're silent, which is not really a plus, but some people say it is. Um, and there's so many uh, fewer components as well. They're so much more reliable. But they're just not there yet. The trouble is, like, uh, yeah, with re renewable sources, there aren't really any renewable sources for batteries. Like lithium. Lithium is the main component in modern batteries and lithium is is not infinite um cornwall is actually quite rich in lithium um but it's really low quality uh lithium so it's not worth the mining costs sadly <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the manufacture of electric cars is is a very inefficient process, and th that's the same can be said for manufacturing batteries. You know, batteries like when people throw batteries away um, instead of recycling them, batteries are absolutely toxic to the environment. They are so bad. Like I always recycle my batteries because. It's probably one of the most um, contaminating things you can dispose of. Um, do you feel your oil mining operation has room for improvement? Uh, yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Go to Mayor's Tips and I'll help you out for a small... Oh, uh, yeah, of course, of course. Piss off, Mayor. Yeah, um, well, that's the thing. And there was actually... A, was it a lithium crisis? Where we, we were running out of lithium? And in Scotland, they found a lot of lithium in one of the lots, I believe. Was it... It might not be lithium, it might be another element. I can't remember now. Um, but this is where things like graphene are, are really going to help. Uh, way into the future, superconductors and things like that. But we're, like, graphene is um, an amazing material. Like, it's insane. It's like godlike material. But it's something like uh, a million pounds for a square meter of the stuff. Now, obviously, as technology advances and the production uh, process matures, it will get cheaper, more efficient, but these technologies are still years away. Wireless power. Damn you, Edison. Well, uh, wireless power is a thing. Um, you know, you can get your wireless charging batteries and wireless charging mice now and stuff like that. Um, was it? No, who was it? Who is that? And I'm, I'm annoyed at myself that I can't think of his name. He, um, Telsa, Nikolai Telsa. He actually proved that you could conduct electricity through the planet. And he had this amazing idea to generate free electricity. But obviously, you know, the Earth, well, the way the planets run, things like that was squashed. And, well, we never saw, never saw anything come of it. Because the, the trouble is, when you make something free, the people that are in charge can't profit off it. The people in charge run the planet. If they can't make any money, they will squash anything. What technologies do you want me to improve? We've got a little bit of spending money here, so we could get the width, which would actually probably be really nice. That brings us down to seven and a half grand. Nuclear jet car, yeah. Do you remember, yeah, it's like uh, in the 50s, the whole, like, the whole future was based on atomic energy. You know, who's going to have nuclear-powered cars, nuclear-powered watches, nuclear-powered homes. You know, they were literally breathing the nuclear Kool-Aid. Um, can you imagine nuclear-powered cars? Can you imagine if you had a crash? You had two, like, nuclear reactors melting down outside your house. Ugh. Yeah, that would have been fun times. Uh, actually, let's then Edison electrocuted an elephant. He did. That's news. I, I don't. I don't remember hearing anything about that. Kyle, what do you have for me? Seventy-eight cents is not too bad, I guess. I mean, it's better than it going down to like twenty cents. Do you know that Telsa uh, stayed? Wait. 
Yeah, Telsa was supposed to be like an amazing human. It's like Einstein as well. Einstein was uh, an incredible person. And one of the saddest things about Einstein is, uh, I don't know if this is true, but when he was dying in hospital, he whispered something to the nurse. Um, and the nurse couldn't understand his language, so his uh, like last words were lost forever, apparently. Which could have been anything, let's be honest. But could have just said, smoke me a kipper, I'll be back for breakfast. Or he could have said something really interesting. Uh, I guess we will never know. But I think we should be putting a lot more money into um, space exploration. Whoa, we have $550 dues left. We're going to have to make this one count. Come on, guys. Let's drain the earth dry. Yeah, I used to love my science in school. I absolutely love science and physics. Um, chemistry was great. I don't really care a lot about any other subject. Um, a design technology was really good as well. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I actually came up with a really good idea. Uh, my final project in DT was a solar panelled, no, solar powered torch. And everyone was like, oh, you're so stupid. Solar powered torch, how does that make sense? It's like, no, you idiot. You put batteries in it and you charge it up during the day. Did you also know that aspirin was originally patented by a German company before World War? Oh, I will read that. Times are wasting. Oh God. Come on. Come on, man. Where's that sweet, sweet oil? Damn it. You're wasting so much money doing this. Oh, God damn it. Get another. There we go. More oil. Is that the oil you have discovered? Damn, it was as well. That's unfortunate. Uh, get some more douses. Did you know that aspirin was originally patented by a German company before World War One, and it was needed, uh, and it needed a chemical used to manufacture. Ah, oh, come on, guys, make it happen. So, German government set up a dummy company to import this chemical from Edison, who was manufacturing it. Really? I did not know that. But then history was never really my um, strength. I enjoy history. Um, <laughs> that's okay. It's cool, man. I like learning. Um, before I got like heavily into my depression and stuff, I used to spend a lot of time heavily into depression. Hmm. That makes it sound like a lot more fun than it actually is. Uh, I used to spend a lot of time reading shit and learning. It was my hobby. Yeah? Um, Edison publicly uh, really it made a movie of it using alternating current tells this thing it used to prove that it was dangerous and scare people into using his DC power now you mention that I'm sure we learnt that I'm sure we did so I'm sure we we, we did a we had to write a paper or we studied a paper called the elect uh, electric elephant or something Yes, very interesting. Hmm. Yep. Did you see that um, footage as well where they cut a dog's head off and put it on the head of another dog? And they plan to do that. Oh, is that this year? That they're going to be uh, transplanting a human head. We need more suction. Yeah, I remember hearing something about that. Right, let's get some douses. 
And there's that um, guy that's basically dying that's volunteered for it as well. Ooh. Which is some really interesting stuff. I mean, they reckon, like, even if they're successful and they manage to transplant his head uh, onto this um, donor body, uh, they reckon that he's going to be in such, like, horrible, agonizing pain anyway. How much will that cost? 700, so it probably is more efficient to just do that. But it's going to be a hell of a step forward to the science. If it works. I mean, even if it doesn't work, they're going to learn a lot anyway. In the process. But, uh, you know, as long as he's consented to it, I guess what will be will be. Ah, come on, you idiots. Come on. Yes, there we go. We've made oil. We've made oil? Yes, yes, we have made oil. That works, and you know it does, damn it. Have you seen those iron engines as well? Yeah, is it China? Yeah, I remember that. I can't wait to, like, read up on that. I'm going to read the paper when it comes out. Not the, well, you know, the actual doctoring. That's going to be an interesting read. It's going to be a horrific read, I have a feeling. But science is horrific. It really is. Okay. I, I wish we could close this pipe off. Because we're losing uh, suction through that. That's getting close to where we need to be. Also, I still haven't received um, The Last Guardian yet. I ordered that, like, beginning of this week. That might have been last week, actually. Though. No, yeah, it was last week I ordered it. Still waiting. Same with Monster Hunter as well. Still waiting for that. Like, Boomerang Games is okay. But, bloody hell. And I'm paying to be a priority customer as well. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. Alright, let's start banking that. We're in June, so we've got plenty of time. Although, we are... How big is this? It's only a tiny little oil well. Ass. What about this one? Come on, we need more oil. Actually, that's quite a big boy. Uh, it's going to cost a lot. We've got plenty of time yet, anyway, so there's no point. Push boundaries, yeah. Listening to Sawbones. I've not heard of Sawbones. I listen a lot to Thunderfoot. Thunderfoot is amazing. He um, goes through a lot of science about um, disproving all these stupid Kickstarters and stuff. It's really good. And he does a lot of scientific experiments as well. Especially using thermal cameras and stuff. Fascinating stuff. Sadly, you do have to push humanity forward and... You know, it's unpleasant. Jesus, what's it? When China was dropping diseased fleas on its own people in World War Two. Yeah. There is always a price to pay. And unfortunately, it's always people paying it that don't deserve it. Right, sell to left. See, personally, I think if, if you need test subjects and things, you should take the paedophiles, the rapists, and the animal abusers. There we go. Easy. 
almost an unlimited supply of test subjects. It's better than testing on animals. Much more accurate results as well. See that goes so high and then drops right down. I guarantee there's more oil here somewhere as well. Yeah, I highly recommend you checking out Thunderfoot as well. Thunderfoot's great. And Splattercat Gaming. He is awesome. In fact, he's actually kind of encouraging me to do... Well, I say he's encouraging me. Um, he's playing a game at the moment, a survival game. Um, that looks really entertaining. Um, I can't actually remember what it's called now. Bugger. This something. Set somewhere in Ukraine anyway, and it's kind of like Stalker. It's a mix of Storm. What is it a mix of? It's like Stalker and We Happy Few, which I've never played that game actually. But it definitely looks entertaining. Well, I like my survival games as well, but this one actually has like a decent proper story to it. Come on, we've got the... When you put pipes down, go in a straight line. Yeah, the scanner is great. Scanner is like the best upgrade, I think, but it's 30,000, which is the problem. Uh, that's kind of a straight line. I mean, then kind of, almost, maybe. I've never been very good at drawing. And this is a similar principle. Right, we need to upgrade these pipes. Otherwise, we're not going to extract this oil in time. It's an expensive cost, but it's kind of got to be done at this point. Uh, you know what? Let's upgrade these as well. I don't know if this is going to be financially worth it, but let's try and drain the soil whilst we can. The scanner is so underutilized in a lot of videos that I've watched of this. Because Splattercat does like a really good playthrough of this, but he never uses a scanner, and it's like, it's so good. We've got a lot of air in the pipes as well. We really, I don't know if it'd be worth joining that up. I know this game does have a pressure and vacuum system, but I don't know how accurate or how well it actually works. Come on, October. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we need to be draining that. There is a lot of money in there. I'm trying to think of the vacuum. I mean, that would be a pretty good vacuum. If only we could shut this off. See, let's just see how well this pulls now. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, See, that's interesting. So that's built the pressure up down there, but the pressure up here is kind of been mitigated. This is a pain. I'm actually selling for more over here. It's a shame you can't sell silos and things. Silos that you can't use, but we are draining that really quickly now. I reckon if we could shut those off, that would build the pressure up between these two as well. I think there's an upgrade that you can get later on now that actually does do that. I think. One month left. Come on. Oh, it's worth so much money over there as well. Come on, guys. We're close. We could, we could come out of here with about 18 grand. Oh no, we've almost drained that well. It's almost gone.
we did end up oh yeah look how quickly that's building up there as well come on halfway through the month halfway through the month it's dropping if only this one was giving us a better price it would be so much more efficient but that's typical game logic for you i guess come on almost almost 78 ah it's this one this one it's actually probably a waste of time moving to this one now, because by the time they actually get there, they're not going to be able to sell. Come on, guys. Let's see how close I was. Ah, I said about 18. Quite close. Oh, there's only one pocket ball left. Not bad, I guess. So we came away with 17 and a half grand. Could be worse. Oh wow, there's our profits. Okay, cool. Happy with that. That actually puts us really competitively. Oh wow, Ricardo is literally in serious Dosh Town right now. That is kind of interesting. He's going to be hard to catch. Now, I know something else they've added to this game. You can now buy shares and stock in the town. Um, so we're going to need a lot of excess cash for that. Right, let's... Stable could be nice, I guess. The trouble is, when you upgrade your horses, for like 15 grand here, you still have to then um, upgrade them in the actual game as well. So... See, the scanner is 30 grand. It is really freaking good, but it's so expensive. Speed 2 might be useful, I guess. The mole's nice. The mole can actually find diamonds as well, but it, he's so unreliable. Scanner is definitely... Um... Yeah, you have to buy more shares in the uh, competition. I don't know if it actually does anything. I wish, like, if you got shares in the town, it'd be nice if you could make money that way. Right, let's get speed two. Just because. Um, what technologies do you want me to improve? Width three would be nice. So, branches. Uh, everything's so expensive now. That's the trouble. Right, let's... No, 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 no. We don't want tips. Let's go to the bar. Ah, see, 83 cents at left ink is pretty nice. Nope. How much is it? 83? Ah. 3,000. Uh, 3, Look the other way for a spill oil fine. I mean, that is next to free, basically, but we don't really want to spill any oil. I think I will go for... That is a lot of money, but then... No, we're gonna... Nah, 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 nah. If it was a little bit higher, like up in the 90s, maybe, but not at that price. So... 38, 36, 31. I don't think that's gonna be a very good place. Got 30... You got a 38, a 36, and a 30. Yeah, that could be a good little place. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, that's going to be an expensive piece of land. Wow, that is literally. Yeah, so basically, the higher the number, the more oil is in the area. So, in theory. If there's kind of like a, a high number of um, uh, concentration of numbers around the land, in theory, there should be a high number of uh, oil in a surrounding piece. But I think there's actually a method to it, but I don't understand it 100%. Right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. Ah. I'm going to go make a coffee. I'll be back in a second.
Uh, no, I am not using Streamlabs. It's still doing the annoying glitchy thing. Uh, but I did look it up and apparently that was a glitch that was introduced in the last update. So hopefully the next update they will fix it. There apparently is a workaround for it which you have to delete certain files. Uh, which are to do with all of the uh, overlays and templates, but I've done that. I've followed it to a T and It still has not fixed the glitch. In fact uh, I've actually gone one step further and I've uninstalled it and reinstalled it about five times and It still has not fixed the glitch So I'm still using vanilla Or should I say I've gone back to using vanilla OBS for this venture now let's go so what uh, recording software did you end up using H in the end Bowser's will now be faster excellent because we need that gold you oh look at that one dollar four straight off the bat that is amazing but we're not going to be able to take advantage of that anytime soon Oh, maybe we are. Let's get one right in the middle of these two. Come on. Oh, um, yeah, so... <clears throat> no, I'm still using the vanilla one. The... Uh, Stream OBS, uh, or what's it, um... Streamlabs OBS is still not working. Apparently it is a well-known glitch that was introduced in the last patch. Um, and there is a workaround for it, but I followed the workaround to a T. You have to delete certain files in your stream overlay um, folders, but I've done all that and it still doesn't work. And I've uninstalled it and I've reinstalled it. Um, so yeah, I'm just using normal OBS right now. I don't know what the hell's going on with uh, Streamlabs. I've tried so many things. Sell, sell, sell. Let's get one of them. Uh, you know what? No, let's bank it for now. Bank it for now. Which is a shame, because I actually really like um, Streamlabs version. It's nice. But it's still in beta, so I guess um, I guess that's to be expected. Ooh, we don't really have the finances. You know what, guys? Go sell because we need to fund this uh, expansion. Uh, I guess we'll go for an oil derrick. Bugger, maybe not. Can we go for that. I mean, in actuality, there's very little difference between the two OBSs. I mean, the Streamlabs one looks nicer, but I think you can mod uh, the normal one to do all the same stuff anyway. Right, it's getting a little bit too low. Bank, bank, bank. Ah, see I haven't tried to um, stream and record, um, I mean I, it's kind of a cool idea, but I think I tried it once like ages and ages and ages ago, this was years ago, and uh, my computer at the time just did not like streaming and recording. Yeah, I do like the comment section. The comment section is really nice. Uh, however, because my second monitor is so far away, it is kind of hard to read it. Oh God, we're gonna have to sell. We're gonna have to sell. Yeah, I was gonna make an overlay today. Today's been weird. I've uh, I've literally wasted today doing nothing I know literally it's just like sitting here waiting to be 
turn into hard, cold money. God damn it. Come on, guys. Come on. Give me a price. Give me a price. I'll take anything. Almost anything. Well, right ink is certainly moving in the right direction. Am I right? Oh, God. I'm here all day. That guy is still sitting on a nice amount of ore for us. You know what? 80 bucks. Uh, 80 cents on the dollar I will take that I suppose if I have to we'll get another dowser for the lols as well yeah he's still standing there but we had to wait until we had some money there we go now we've got some cash we can start drilling for it come on buddy where are we at yeah Hopefully, when I move to my new place, um, I will get. Oh hell, good point. I I didn't even register him. See, this is why you need more eyes. Oh, oh, that's here. Okay, let's create a super vacuum chamber. Now you have found oil over here. Yep, we got him. We got him. It's all under control, I think. A disclaimer, it may not be under control. Right. So where, my friend, is your oil? Oh, wow. That could definitely use a bigger pipe. And so could that, actually. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, oh, we need more. We need more. Damn it. No. Right, extract that oil quicker, come on. Rip that stuff out of the ground as quick as you can. That was massively expensive, but I'm hoping it's going to pay off. Come on. Oh, come on, guys. Seriously. We need more horses. For now, just bank it. Because it's going to be quicker. Oh, God. Oh man, this is not good. We're draining this way too fast. We need to sell. This is going to go really badly. Oh man, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Wagons, wagons. All of our money on wagons. Oh no, it's going so badly wrong. Yeah, really should have gone for that uh, offer. Boy, is my face red now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're at max capacity as well. Uh, and we're selling for awful prices. Right, store it up in there, guys, so it's going to be quicker. Come on. Oh, no. The environmentalists are not going to be happy with us today. Lost about 5,000 and the rest, I reckon. This is... We... Oh, this is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. Oh, come on. Yeah. I am actually thinking we're going to lose money for this. Of all the missions that we could have potentially uh, taken that deal for. We need more horses. Oh my god, how much oil is coming out of this? Oh my god, Greenpeace is going to have me. Save the oil and, uh, yeah. Save it and swim in it like Scrooge. This was an awful idea on my part. I've never had spillages like this, like ever. Right, that is drained now. So that's 
kind of a good thing. I'm reckoning, I'm reckoning we're on 10 grand. 10 grand's village farm. We're gonna have to make some serious cash to make this profitable at all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need to upgrade our horses, I think, or just have more of them. But there, there, it happens to every guy. Hey, what exactly are you insinuating, my friend? No, this is a disaster. Oh god, and there's nothing we can do either. There's nothing we can do. We are literally at the mercy of the Lords of Oil right now. Uh, I will move my webcam, yes. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, because the... No! Damn you! Oh, no. Uh, and I thought we was going to be onto a winner here. I thought we were going to be riding the gravy train all the way home. We were going to be laughing, billionaire oil tycoons, but no. No, we're going to be staring at the business end of the government after this. And not in a good way. Yeah, the horses can't keep up, and we can't buy any more horses. We did pump a lot of oil. We've made 12 grand here. 12 grand ain't gonna touch your sides. Spillage fines in this game are insane. They are brutal. I mean, seriously, what, what the hell's going on with these guys? They're asleep at the wheel. <sighs> There's no bonuses for these guys, I can tell you that much. In fact, after this, they're all getting sacked. Unbelievable. I mean, we're close to 20 grand, right? 20 grand should be quite good. 20 grand should get us set. But it won't. Oh. 92, 97. Is that going to go up? Oh, the shame. The absolute shame. <laughs> they ran the economy into the ground. This is my economy. Excuse me, we were supposed to be sleeping on mattresses stuffed with money, not hay. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we sell to at this rate. <sighs> Unbelievable. We could have made some mega profit right here. Oh, I, that is easily the worst performance that I've ever seen. Unreal. Might as well duck out early. Is it stop level? You click? Ah, here we go. Withdraw land lease. Well, that, okay, so we get like thirteen hundred bucks back. Ah, uh, one patch of oil left. Whoa! Whoa. Seventeen thousand dollar fine. Seventeen thousand dollar fine. We were, we were on track to retire early guys unbelievable right oh can I actually move my webcam whilst I'm streaming right let's actually have a look nope nope that was a straight up disaster I guess I don't really know where I could put the webcam, to be honest, because... Um, let's have a fiddle, shall we? There we go, we can have Inception. It's not a difficulty, I'm just trying to think with this game where to put it, where it won't be... Let's... Let's go somewhere in the middle, but then in the middle it's going to cover up... Uh, 
Let's try something like that. See how that goes. Because with this game, you've got stuff everywhere. Right. There we go. Yeah, because now we can't see like the town hall. Ah, I know exactly where I can put it. I know where I can put it. I know where I can put it. I'm just being stupid. No, no, don't want to move that. Uh, up in the middle somewhere. A little bit something like this. Yeah, I think the middle should be okay. Oh, it's going to catch. Yeah, somewhere on the left, just where I had it. Yeah, you're probably right. That would probably do. Yeah, just so you can see the oil prices. Uh, yeah, you should be able to see the prices with that. Okie dokie. Now, oh man, 18 grand. We're getting hammered. Ricardo is literally riding the gravy train right now. Like literally, he's chomping down cigars, fine wine, the whole lot. We're a step away from a cardboard box over here. It would be nice to upgrade something, but we just don't have the cash. I mean, we could get... No, we couldn't get size 2 because we need the money for the land. And we need... Yeah, we need two grand as well to take with us. Uh, no. Right, we're just going to have to... Actually, let's see what, what bargains we can get. Whoa! Oh, man, we can't even afford it. Anyway... 105 for next year that will be amazing <laughs> yes but only for for people with walking around money that is a lot of money for 87 whoa okay where did the game go thank you game um for some cash, I can look the other way the coming year. If you spill oil and forget the fine, you know what? After the absolute disaster that was last, I think 350 bucks is a small price to pay. Um, oh, you know that that could have set us up to to lose the game. In all fairness, so what have we got here? We got 28, 36, 36. We got this one here, but that's surrounded by 231, so it's going to be no good. Uh, it's definitely going to be worth it, I reckon. Absolutely worth it. Ah, son of a bitch thinks he's got more money than me. Well, he does, so I guess the joke's on me after all. Oh, man. So that's going to leave us four grand. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me, dearie me. Look at these guys. He's got 10 grand more than me. He's got 20 grand more than us. Well, Jill, I hope you're going to be lucky today. Because I need some serious luck right now. 1st of January. Let's go. Come on. See, look at that. It starts so high. But well, that's no good. Don't want it to start that high. Right. All right, buddy. Let's go. Let's go to work. We'll concentrate on one for now. Come on. Oh, seriously? Seriously? No. Come on. There we go. Uh, right. There you go. Uh, sell to there. is going to be extremely expensive. It's going to leave us very short on money. We should be okay. There you go. You can have a wagon as well. Let's take advantage of right ink whilst we can. Now the price is falling. Damn it. Okay, well let's just build up some capital for now. Uh, let's get a 
couple more dowsers. Hopefully they can find some oil that's not too far away. Going down to 80. Come on. Go the other way. We need mad bank. At least we can go crazy now. Ah, oh, you bugger. You'd have to be... Oh, that's not too bad. That's doable. You're a little bit out of my way for now. Might be worth upgrading that pipe. Because that looks like quite a big... Quite a big reservoir there. Uh, I don't know how worth it that's going to be, mind. Because I have a feeling now we're going to be extracting that oil quicker than we can... Yes, we are. At least if we spill oil, we're not going to get fined for it. But we're also not going to make any money on it either. So, Come on. You know what? That's fine. Oh, man. It's all going, it's all going wrong already. It's all going wrong already. I've killed us all, guys. And I keep forgetting that you have to assign the new wagons. Come on, come on, come on. That's okay. You can spill as much as you want. It's not going to matter to us. Okay, we sh should be okay now. Hopefully. And that is a terrible straight line. And that is even worse. Come on, mouse. It's the mouse's fault. It's always the mouse's fault. It's not going to be my fault, is it? Ooh. That is a big reservoir right there. Uh, who's spilling? Mine doesn't spill a bit. We, we're definitely going to be spilling quite a bit here. You know what? Whilst we've got all this extra money, just go crazy. Go crazy. Oh, you ass. Um. Alright, well... It's actually not that much more expensive to just drill all the way out there as it is to just build a derrick. However, building a new derrick would have technically been quicker. Well, there's no technically about it. It would have been quicker. Right, we need to start seriously bringing in the profits. Okay. Come on, give me some of that sweet, sweet oil. So how's your job going, H? Your research. What are you researching at the moment? Ooh, we have struck oil. Dig a little bit further down, see how big this is. Oh man, it's only a tiny little reservoir. Let's get a couple of dousers. So at least the webcam there is not actually covering up anything interesting, so that's cool. Um, I suppose we could get a silo or two. Oh, nice. Both of them have found oil. That's cool by me. Come on, come on, come on. Time is money. You can't douse that far, surely. Shh. Ass. Damn it. This is where it gets frustrating. Or well, not necessarily frustrating, but this is where it starts costing a lot of money trying to find the oil. This is where the scanner really pays for itself. Come on. No, my luck, it's up here somewhere. Seriously? Oh, there it is. It's only a tiny little one as well. Not really worth it. Um. Right, stop selling. You're just throwing money away. Haven't really looking for a new job. Yeah. 
that's unfortunately part of life, man. I was, um, it took me ages and ages to find a decent job. Like, years to find a decent job. Um, there's very few of them about at the moment, unfortunately. I don't know what Scotland's like, but Cornwall is very, very diff difficult. Actually, I found, um, right, okay, so this is kind of interesting. On the radio at work the other day, they said, if you live in Cornwall and you're earning over a thousand pounds, what was it, like a thousand pounds a month. So if you're bringing in exactly a thousand pounds a month, you're actually considered rich, right? Now, without going into details, I bring in a lot more than a thousand pounds a month. And I can't afford my own house. So that just shows you how screwed up the economy is around here. Ah, this one's actually quite big. I mean, I don't know what it's like in Cornwall. But affordable housing uh, in Scotland, rather. Affordable housing over here is, is just mad. Like, if you're on benefits and stuff, like, you know, if, if you're a single woman, it's quite easy to get a house. But if you're a single guy, it's impossible. There's just no way. It's not going to happen. You need two people earning a decent wage. I've heard up country is so much cheaper. Like, I was actually going to, oh god. I was going to move back to Milton Keynes at one point. Um, and water rates as well. Um, Cornwall has the highest water rates in the uh, in the country, which is insane, absolutely insane when you think about it. <clears throat> Mental. We could be in the runnings to make a decent bit of money here, guys. Maybe start banking it for now. Might get another silo as well, so we can really ship that stuff. Let's get some dowsers going as well. However, I don't think we're going to find a lot of oil. Hmm, maybe we have tapped everything out. Which is bad. Really bad. See, we really need the scanner because then we can start probing these areas because you can see that the dowsers just can't get down there that far that is almost yeah the music in this game i said about that earlier actually the music in this game is amazing it's so good it's so chilled as well So how hyped is everyone for Red Dead Redemption 2? I, for one, cannot wait. It is probably my second most anticipated game of the year. Apart from possibly, well actually, technically third anticipated game, maybe. It depends on Star Citizen and Shenmue, Shenmue 3. Another game with a killer soundtrack, actually, is um, Rebel. It's called Rebel. Not Rebel Universe. Oh, what was that game called? I played loads of it. Rebel. Spaceship Sun. I don't have my phone on me, do I? Oh, I do. Rebel Galaxy, I think. That had an amazing soundtrack, actually. And I've got the. Um, soundtrack on Spotify proper distorted guitars and everything it's really really western like ye olde western but with a modern twist amazing stuff
Not bothered about Red Dead. Ah, won't be able to play it. Damn it, H. That is not an acceptable answer. Red Dead. Well, yeah, I reckon, I reckon it's going to be awesome. It might come to the PC. The only problem is, right, we're going to end the level. The only problem is, um, oh, we yeah, get the number of the beast. I approve. Um, the only problem with Red Dead is the actual studio developing it. <clears throat> they have never released, to my knowledge, they've never released one of their games on the PC. Now, I know it's being made by Rockstar. But the particular Rockstar team that's making it. Um, oh, there was still a little bit of oil. That was quite profitable, actually. That was very profitable. It was our best run so far. Alright, I'm quite happy with that. We're still a far cry from being able to afford the uh, scanner. <laughs> Buying an Xbox whatever number just to play it. No, get a PlayStation 4. Get a Slim or a, or a Pro or whatever, man. Just, just do it. I love my PS4. It's great. And PlayStation Plus is really good. I don't play any games online, but the free games that you get are, are so good. Uh, cool. Right, what I will do... Oh, what's he waffling on about? Our need for oil brings us to the desert. Here you can stop... Ah, crap. This is where the game gets a little bit more complicated. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it is Rockstar, but Rockstar have two development teams. And um, the particular team that's making Red Dead Redemption, what else did they make? They made, like, Midnight Club, the racing game, and a couple of other games as well. And whatever that team has made has never come to the PC. However, it's a different time now. PC gaming is so big. I would be very, very surprised if it didn't come to the PC. However, if it did come to the PC, it'd probably be like GTA 5, where it doesn't come for like a year, year and a half afterwards, which would suck. Um, Far Cry, yes. Yeah, I, I'm quite hyped for Far Cry. Right, before we buy land, let's have a little look at the bar. What's he got? Whoa, at right inch. The price can even be more right. For a small personal donation, our price will stay above. Okay, so this is going to give us the potential to make some serious money. But is it going to be worth $6,000? Oh man, maybe, maybe, oh that's, that's a tough choice. Now this is one thing that we are going to need, we're going to need the drill to drill through rock, however the drill is 30 grand. Usually at this stage in the game, when I used to play it, I was quite minted. <sighs> I still haven't got around to playing Far Cry 4, to be honest. Ooh. Yeah, I might try and pick up Far Cry 4 at some point. Far Cry 3 I thought was amazing. I played the hell out of that game. What we do need is the horse. Where's herd size? We don't really need herd size. We could probably use that. I don't know what would be better value. Oh, but that is all of our money, so we're still too poor. Bugger. Let's go with a skull. I like the skull. Yeah, I, what, what was the, um, the spin-off game they made? Oh, wow, we're really spread out. The spin-off game they made, um, there was like an 80s action film. Blood Dragon. That was also amazing. I've actually gone to um, LP that so many times I've actually recorded like five or six videos of that game so many times and I thought oh, I'm just gonna help it because it's a fun quick game and I always end up just deleting it and doing something else but Blood Dragon was one of my favorite um, 
uh, spin-offs ever. There was talk of them doing a full Far Cry game like that, but obviously it never happened thus far. Getting some excellent prices there right now. I actually really like Far Cry 3. The, the choice at the end that you had to make I thought was pretty cool. You can like kill your friends and your missus and uh, um, like join the, the tribe. That was cool. But, <laughs> but if you took that ending it was... Um, I won't ruin it but... Ah sh... Ass. We really need the drill. It's going to get very difficult without the drill. Yeah, but Far Cry Primal never really interested me. When I first heard about it, I thought it did sound quite interesting. But after seeing a lot of footage of it, it just it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, I th think... I think we're just going to sell. Yeah, I heard it was very similar to 3. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, because, you know, if you've got a willing formula, hey. But I did like the idea of the, the co-op aspect towards it. Um, where I think you could only do certain missions co-op in Far Cry 4 though whereas in Far Cry 3 no Far Cry 3 no in Far Cry 5 you can play the entire game co-op which is going to be pretty cool I also want to play Dead Island as well The best FPS cover system. I don't really remember the cover system. I remember like the brutal hand-to-hand um, -hand kills you could do with your knife and stuff. And the stealth kills. It was so satisfying. And it was, yeah, it was just, there's something delicious about running up behind someone and knifing them. Ah, it was so good. The movement was so, so smooth. I actually brought this TV that I have now. Uh, just for Far Cry 3 when it came out. My god, that was so long ago now. Yeah, because I remember that was um, that was just when I lost my engineering job that came out. <laughs> that was just before Christmas. And I was like, okay, Far Cry 3's out. I've waited for this game for ages. I'm going to buy myself a new TV and a new graphics card. So I did that. <laughs> and then we went into work the next week to find out that we were all getting sacked. <laughs> and Shit. Yeah, that was quality. Good night, Nat. Thanks for coming. Three had a separate co-op. Oh, did it? A separate co-op campaign. Ah, I wasn't sure of that. It was fun, but hard. Dead Island. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do the Dead Island games. Definitely going to do those. get those dousers out there come on let's make some money ooh yes just what we wanted yes even better oh that is a nice big oil deposit there Oh, that is an awesome oil deposit. What was the other one they did? Um, like, left for... Um, oh, what was it? Um, Dying Light. I heard good things about that one as well. Oh. Still got more oil here. Yes, look at this. We're going to have the hellish oil network. Right under our feet. Ah, bugger. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, okay, well that's already hopefully under. Uh, 
Oh wow, that is a huge oil deposit. Oh, you played Dying Light as well. Cool. I've seen loads of videos of it. There's, they've got that like really cool um, parkour system, which I am quite the fan of. Come on, come on, stop spilling. Yeah, that's the thing, like, you know, a lot of people complain about Dead Island. Um, a, a, a lot of people, actually, say that Dead Island isn't a good game. Come on, come on, stop, why, why is this spilling happening? Uh, a lot of, yeah, but from what I've seen of the game, I mean, it's no masterpiece, but it does look like a lot of fun. It certainly looks right up my alley, anyway. There we go. Could probably use another oil derrick here, actually, to split the load. Because the thing with Dead Island as well is you can get the definitive pack. Uh, quite often it's quite cheap on Steam and uh, the PlayStation 4. So yeah, I, I really wouldn't mind to check those out. I have just brought, um, because it was on sale on the PS4, I brought... Um, oh, shit. Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. Man... I love Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. I played so much. Wasn't the emotional thing the trailer made people think? Ah, right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it, it was more of um, just like a silly kind of zombie shooter, I guess. But there's loot and stuff. And there's like weapon crafting. So, yeah. The trailer did make it look like it was going to be much more um, story based than it actually was. Although the the, the Dead Island Riptide was it the Riptide? Yeah, the Riptide trailer was awesome. Looks so good. You know what? Let's get all of our horses. And the price is already going down. Yeah, Riptide was made out to look absolutely amazing. Oh, did you not play Destroy All Humans? It, yeah, <laughs> it was good. It was good. I think I only played one of them. And I can't remember if I played the first or the second. And I only actually played it over a friend's house. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like the humor in it is brilliant. Did, have you ever seen... You must have. Have you ever seen the film um, Mars Attacks? It is literally that. And the actual main character that you play as, Cryptosporidian. Oh, God, guys, come on. Get it. Ah, spillage. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, guys. Why are you collecting from, from there when you should be collecting from here? Um, yeah, Cryptosporidian. The actual main character, he's brilliant. Yeah, the humour and everything is just ripped straight from that film. Stop collecting from the wells, you fools. Prioritise that. Idiots. Unbelievable. I, would, I thought they prioritised the wells first, which would make sense, but I guess not. Guys, come on, you're killing me. Do you know... The environmental officer is going to be here anytime soon. Don't collect from the silos. This isn't rocket science. This is common sense. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit better. We're already going to have to pay out the ass for the damage that we've already done. Come on. I wish you could sell silos back just for a fraction of what you paid. Don't. That better not have counted towards the spillage. Right, that's actually closer to us. I like the way they actually change colour as well. 
I like quickly rebrand the transport containers. This could be very lucrative for us. If we can keep this going, that is. You know, I think it's not going to be in the, the too distant future that I am going to have to cover XCOM again myself. We have to do Terror from the Deep. And I have started my Final Fantasy VII LP, which I'm only like six episodes into. And I haven't actually um, recorded any of it since I last told you. Is it six episodes or six hours? Oh, I can't remember now. But I've never completed that game. I feel so bad for saying that. You know, that that's the game of... Arguably, the game of, of, of our generation. And I've never completed it. I've started that game so many times. And I love it. The music, man. The music gets me every time. Oh, my God. It's just... It's so intense. Right, we're starting to lose... Yeah, keep selling, keep selling. You know what? Sod the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Make that money, yo. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII. Absolutely incredible stuff. I cannot wait for the remake. But, but I feel like I have to complete, I have to finally complete, god damn it, the um, original first. The thing that frustrates me the most about it is I have brought the original on every system that it came out on. I've got it there on my PlayStation 1, I've got it on my PlayStation 4, I had it on the PlayStation 3, I've, I've got it on my Vita, I've got it on my PSP. And the trouble is, I always start playing it, but I get so sidetracked with other games. And why did I... Okay. Um, I always get sidetracked with other games. I think they are changing the combat system up a little bit. Which I don't mind, because... I, for one, am not a huge fan of JRPG um, combat. The standard, traditional, turn-based stuff. I get very, very bored of it very, very quickly. The, the, the push X to do your attacks. And, you know, just sit there and wait your turn. Um, random battles all over the place. However, the PlayStation 4 port... Um, the HD edition, which actually is exactly the same version as on Steam, has some interesting, cool little features on it. Uh, if you if you click in the right stick, you can speed the game up three by times three speed, so it makes it so much easier doing battles and stuff. Uh, if you click both the sticks in, it disables uh, random battles, which is redundant. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, although it will make certain areas of the game a bit less tedious. And if you click the right stick in, it automatically restores your health, your limit breaks, and your your mana. Which is cheating to the, the nth degree. Um, I don't know really why they put that in. I won't be using that. Although, like I said in my LP, when I've tried to play it before, I have clicked that button by accident a couple of times. I wish you could straight up disable it, to be honest. Because you can just literally restore all of your health in a battle, like halfway through a battle, just click it. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's, that's the thing. Some people love it. Some people really, really like it, but it's just never really been... Never really been a thing for me. I find that they have to make it really interesting. Yeah, we pretty much got all of the oil here. Yeah, it is an odd design uh, decision for sure. We lost a lot of money there through spillage fines. But... I'm 
it could have been worse. Yeah, I, I don't get that that click the stick in to restore all of your your party. That's so, that's really strange. And the thing is, because it's mapped to the right stick, I don't know what it is on the PC. Because it's mapped to the right stick, it's so easy to accidentally click it. And it, yeah, I've only done it once or twice in my personal playthrough, but when it does happen, you just like it does make you eye roll. We're on 32 grand. We're almost in a position where we can... Oh, we're really quite financially stable for the first time. <clears throat> Herd size might be nice. We definitely get the size upgrade for our sh cattle. Our cattle? Our horses. The drill would be invaluable, but it's a little bit on the pricey side for us at the moment. Size 2 silos might be a worthy investment. I mean, the only feature of those that I really use, I think it's just the three. Yeah, you can turn off battles, you can restore your health, and you can speed the game up. And I must admit, I use the, um, the fast forward time thing all the freaking time. Because when I get into the battles, I like them to be done quick. Because it doesn't ruin the experience, it just makes it quicker. And it makes grinding a lot easier as well, because you can just, you know, grind it out really quickly. Well, <laughs> really quickly. The grinding in that game is pretty extreme. But I don't know a lot of the secrets, like getting Vincent and stuff like that. These are things that I knew as a kid, but I can't really remember them. And, like, I know some of the materia, like my favourite one, Knights of the Round, is, um... Knights of the Round was my favourite materia, man. That was incredible. Um, but I can't remember. I know that's a missable item. And there's quite a few little missable things in that game. Um, unfortunately. Uh, could get depth, but I think we need more worthwhile upgrades, really. We're going to persevere. It does take forever to cast. But Omni Slash, which is obviously Cloud's um, ultimate. This is so badass. I take it you've seen Advent Children. Um, you know, like one of the best films ever made, ever. Oh, man. That, oh, that, that brings the feels. Especially at the end when they're um, all the characters are throwing cloud up into the sky and it's just like they're all giving him that like one line of advice and stuff man if that didn't bring an old tear to my eye <sighs> yeah because aren't all the weapons um secret bosses or is it only some of them I know they're hard as hell. See, yeah, if we had a diamond, he would tell us which bit of land had loads of oil, which we obviously can't do. Uh, let's ride. Oh, yeah. Let's go claim a piece of land. We should, hopefully, get enough money to start upgrading stuff after this. Oh, there was a diamond on the... You know, hang on. It might be worth getting moles. It's only 10 grand. Let's get the moles. Cells. Moles will uncover three more cells each. This is a gamble. But let's do it. We kind of really need them. Can't remember, I got on the shelf. I've only seen it twice. Oh man, I remember, yeah, my buddy back in the day um, when we were kids fighting the diamond weapon. <laughs> And the, uh, yeah, the Mako cannon. Because that cutscene, as it's charging. Oh my god, that is so cool. 
Ah, oh, man. Memories. Jeez. Yes, that's beard. 56. And don't forget, hopefully, fingers crossed, Resident Evil 2 Remake is out this year. Oh, I cannot, could not be more hyped for that game. So we now have moles. Yes, I know. Try the mole. I know how mo moles work. Moles are only really good in large numbers. They will basically dig down into the land and uncover one triangle. Um, which sounds crap, but it's actually super useful. But now we got the upgrade, they will actually uncover um, nine, as he said, instead of six. I say Mako, yeah. Mako? It's been a long time since I've played Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect. I love the universe. We might be hosed here. We might actually have to take out a loan. We really need the drill. Ah, hang on, there's oil there. I don't know what it's gonna be like. Uh, I mean, maybe it could be like Resident Evil 4, I guess. Unlike a lot of Resident Evil purists, I wouldn't have... You need a concrete donkey, yeah. That would be amazing. Unlike a lot of Resident Evil purists, I would be quite happy to see it done in the style of Resident Evil 4. Um, but I'd be, I can't see. I would be happy with static camera angles as well. You know, of course I would. But I can't see how they would make that work in today's like day and age, you know? I mean, we've, they're kind of like a product of their time. We've come so far. From that, I don't think it could work unless they make it like a budget game because people expect the big blown out visuals and things these days, which is sad, you know. It's all about the gameplay, but um, we still haven't seen anything of it yet. But I also wonder if it's going to be like, god damn it, if it's going to be like, um, oh man, this is just bad. Yeah, if it's going to be like uh, the remake for the GameCube, um, is it going to be like Resident Evil 2, but with a heck of a lot of new content? Like new rooms, new bosses, new weapons. Um, really expand it in other words this is just this level is going to be a blowout I think we've screwed ourselves over here big time we needed the drill at this point of the game we had to have the drill we are so boned without the drill it's kind of unfortunate that they make the drill so expensive. Yes, yeah, absolutely required. There we go. We've got some more oil. Yeah, the bedrock is brutal. We can still make this work, possibly. We might be able to get under the bedrock now. Maybe. Yeah, we can. Ah, maybe not. Well, the thing is, I don't know if you've um, played any of the remakes. In, like the HD remake of um, 1 and 0. But they actually changed the control scheme. Uh, the control scheme was modernized quite a bit. 
Um, I mean, it, it was still tanky, but it was a lot better. It's kind of hard to explain without you actually holding the control pad in your hand, but... Yeah, I mean, the, the way your characters reacted, um, depending on their orientation to the screen, they really changed it. It felt a lot better. We've got no money. Cold blood. I played Grim Fandang Fandango. Um, yeah, Grim Fandango is great. That was a point and click kind of thing. Cold blood. Was that on the PlayStation 1? Because that is really ringing bells. Cold blood. I can't see in my cabinet, but... Nah, I'm thinking of fear effect up there. No, uh, Cold Blood. Yeah, that was like a point and click adventure. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure we rented it at some point. Uh, me and my mates. And it was on two. Ah, it was on two discs, if I remember correctly. And I remember a big room with a generator in it, and you could get killed in it as well, which was quite unique. For, well, I say it's unique. For adventure games but it really wasn't a lot of adventure games have death in them especially broken sword broken sword was great i only played one and two um, but then you had broken sword three as well and broken sword um they did a 4 and a 5, I believe, as well. But they're, they're quite different, as I understand. Ah, they took the deaths out of the director's cut. Really? Why would they do that? That's a dumb idea take the deaths out it's like well that's <sighs> oh wow all the way over there huh of all the things to remove from a game i know in the director's cut i think they added things as well like uh, puzzles i know there was a stupid lock puzzle because i've got director's cut on steam uh but i haven't played it all the way through Let's upgrade some pipes. I think personally my favourite um, point and clicks though. Probably the Discworld games because they're literally amazing. Um, one and two. And I also really like Simon the Sorcerer. A little bit extra from Nico's side. That's interesting. I can't really remember them to be honest. I know Kokoski is replaying them and I am trying to watch his LP, but it's just time. Time is that horrible thing that we don't have a lot of. Let's see if we can find some more oil. Really use some. That's what I liked about the Resident Evil um, remake. Oh wow, there's still a lot of oil here apparently. One there. So we do actually have a lot of oil here, which is nice. It's just trying to get the stuff. 
we're on August as well, so we're still kind of on track to make some good money. Okay. And there's more oil down there. Let's make that pipe bigger. Okay, we can possibly turn this around. Simon the Sorcerer, I'm familiar to you. Wow, okay. Um, I I can't remember if it originates from the Amiga or if it was always a PC game. But I uh, highly recommend you looking an, up an LP of it. Yeah, fantastic game. I think they made a Simon the Sorcerer 2 as well. Let's try and get some extra power here because we're going to need it. Oh wow, look at that one there as well. Damn it, we don't have enough enough time. We could make so much money here. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be financially worth putting another rig here. We need something to build that suction up. This potentially is looking good, but we're on September already. We need to get the suction going. The profits, are, the potential is definitely there. There we go. We're seriously milking some from there now. We're never going to drain all of this out in time, but we just try and get as much. We're only on 2,000 bucks as well, come on. Well, we've only got a few months left. Alright, go to that one. Can't afford to sell anything too cheaply now. We really need to, like, a minimum, we need 15 grand to take away from here. We need the right ink to go way up. But I don't know if it's going to. Look at how much oil is here, though. Man, if we had the drill, we would be set. And also, I hope I showed the power of the moles. Uh, moles individually are pretty useless, but when you use them in groups like that, they are pretty epic. See, if we had the bigger pipes again, we're not going to make anything where near enough money. Which is a massive shame. It's kind of been a... Oh, we're up to a dollar there, though. Keep going, keep going. In an ideal world, we could link that one up, but we just can't get through the bedrock. We need to make enough money, really, to be able to afford the drill. If we can get the drill, we're, we can kind of salvage the company. Kind of. Maybe. But it's so damn expensive. So what kind of job are you looking for, H? Are you just looking for anything? Right ink is now starting to decline. Everybody go left. Everybody go left. Oh man, this is so painful. Look at all that oil. That's not even a big pipe. Look at the prices! Last month. Ah. Unbelievable. Yeah. 
That, I don't even want to see that. That is ridiculous. Museum right or writing job? Another well. Bump faster. If we had another well, it would have been good, but we needed to put one in on the other side, really, which we could have done. Damn. You know what might be worth it is if we borrow. Oh, man. I didn't want to have to do this. Diamonds. I didn't want to have to do this. How much can we borrow? That's the trouble. It's not going to be worth it. We're going to have to borrow so much. The interest is just too high. Sixty percent interest is insane. Herd size might be good. But again, we're too poor to do anything. He's got thirty-four, forty we're so far behind right now. Well, I mean they they have so much more spending power than we do. That's gonna be where it's at. Four grand that costs, so we need to make six grand. <laughs> Run away to Barbados. I think they might find us. Well, actually, to be fair, it's probably much easier to run away back then in these forgotten times. In fact, it would definitely be much easier to run away back then. No tracking or anything like that. Right, let's get going. We need to be quick about this. Right, cool. Whoa, look at left ink. Mine, mine like your lives depended on it. Well, your jobs depend on it, so that's a similar thing. Come on, rip that stuff out of the ground whilst we've got it. Whilst we've got it, get in there, come on. Let's make some early quick money. Make some early dosh. Here we go. Well, that's as much early dosh as I guess we're going to get for now. Let's get a couple of silos. Look at that, it's gone down to 20 cents. Like, what's the point? Well, I guess the point is to be ripped off. No, sir. I will not stand by and be ripped off by these guys. Not happening. Buy from one and sell to the other. Nope. Nope, you're the master of the oil industry, I'm afraid. The only oil that exists is what you drag out of the ground yourself. Oh, that's weird. Stop screwing up, mouse. There we go. Trouble is, we need money. We need money to buy stuff. Obviously. Come on, right. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Start selling. Start selling. Because the trouble is, the, well, the biggest problem we're going to have is soon they're going to open up the stock market. And the way you win the game is you have to buy the town. And you do that through shares. And they just have so much more spending power than we do. We just will never be able to compete. Stop spilling the damn oil, you fools. No, don't pause. Okay, alright, let's speed it up for now. <laughs> if only I could buy their companies. 
Unfortunately, they are loaded and we are poor. Well, don't be like that. Ah, damn it. I knew he was going to run into the rock eventually. I don't mean Dwayne, Do Dwayne Johnson. Right. Yeah. I bet that's going to be underneath, isn't it? Damn it. I knew it. Come on, don't spill that precious black gold. Nice. Oh, this is quite a nice deposit here. Quite a nice deposit indeed. Right, so. At least here. We, oh, wow, look at this. Join that. Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen a deposit this big. Come on, don't spill. Right. You start milking that dry. Holy underwear! Entertaining and awkward. See, he's still saying there's more down there. Whoa, look at that. We're getting some decent scratch from this one. Um, I'm going to have to go under that. No other way for it. Whoa, look at the scratch. This is where we're making serious bang. Oh, you son of a... Alright, in that case, let's get a mole. Let's mole the whole area down. Whoa, man. So much cash. There's a lot of oil under here, apparently. So much oil. Right. So it looks like if we can get... Ah, more. Hang on. Can we... get through that yes success all right H we're in business buddy we're in business there's three oh no okay not quite business then uh, can we go maybe under this one. Is that another oil well or is that part of the same one? Right. Come on. Yes, there we go. Right, you're mine and you're mine. And in that case, link that up there. There we go. Now we're scoring serious points. It's expensive, but it's going to be worth it. Right, now the mole. Right, he can explore over here. Alright, oh god, why am I... send me 50% of the profit. My friend, if I had this kind of money and I was making this kind of profit, I probably would. Come on. Don't let that oil spill over. You know, I've always said that. If I won the lottery, I would give so much of it away. Because let's be honest, what are you going to do with tens of millions of pounds. Honestly. I would make sure everybody that I knew was living comfortably. Nobody would have any worries. Because, you know, as I've probably already said before, you only have two worries in this life. You've got your health and you have financial worries. And if you can get rid of one of those worries, you're doing pretty damn well. 
Right, let's just start selling. We're in July. We're well on target here. Let's get some more moles. Solid gold pantaloons. You are now... Oh, damn it. You're now speaking my language. Come on. See, the problem is... They prioritise... Well, it seems like they prioritise these silos. Which is really annoying. Because prioritising the silos is just going to cost us so much money. I guess what we could do is have a couple of them selling for that one. Because that way they're always... You know, you've got like a little supply line coming from this one to that one. Okay. Ah, solid gold pantaloons, eh? We would live like kings, sir. Like kings. That reminds me of a Baldur's Gate thing, actually. Solid gold pantaloons. I don't think they were solid gold pantaloons. But, or press trousers. It was something like that. A quest that you had to do. Here we go. Yeah, if we could drain all this oil out, which is in the realm of possibility... We'll be laughing. We've almost made enough from this. We'll definitely be able to afford our drill anyway. Scanner may... Nah, we won't be able to afford the scanner as well. But that would have been nice. That would have been really nice if we could afford the scanner as well. That would put us back on the map. In a big way. Then we really would be wearing the uh, gold pantaloons. We might be the most profitable company this year. We've made 30 grand. Spillage fines are probably going to bite us in the arse. But. We just have to take those on the chin. We're starting to run out of oil a little bit now. Ah, oh, if only we could drain this quicker. Come on. Come on, you blackguards. If we could get close to 40 grand, that would be a monumental success. I've had levels before where I've earned uh, about 60,000. And I've seen other players get, like, ridiculous amounts. I've seen some players get, like, 80,000. I mean, it comes... is A lot of it comes down to luck, sure, but... It is nice to see those kind of numbers. Yeah, the oil's starting to really slow down a little bit now. We're not going to get close to four grand. Well... Uh, 14, I should say. Well, maybe. Maybe. It's possible. Anything's possible, damn it. That's what mummy always told me. No, it's dropping too low now. Right, start saving it up. Start saving it up. Only we could get another... Yeah, we could get another Derek in there, but I don't know if it's going to be financially feasible this late in the game. Right, let's get everyone over here. Quickly approaching the one dollar mark. There we go. Happy with that. Yes, very nice. So, when you play FTL, do you play it on hard mode or normal? Oh, hard. Well, I think. No, you've only got normal and easy, haven't you? I can't remember that, how it works. And then you get the expanded uh, arsenal, I think. God, it's been so long since I've played that. Not too shabby. 
Not too shabby at all. Come on, if we can get to 40 grand. Hard mode, yeah. Oh good, I'm not. I'm glad I'm not the only one that uh, thinks that way. I've tried uh, hard mode a couple of times and man, you just get your ass kicked so quickly. Yeah, I always played it on easy as well. I did a couple of normal runs, but they didn't really end very well. And by not really ending very well, I only got into like, I don't know, like two, um, are they galaxies? Or two systems ahead, because it was just, everything is just so monumentally stacked in your favor. Nor, yeah, the additional content. Some of the additional weapons were pretty fun. I think the biggest problem with the, the roguelike games is because so much of it comes down to luck. Like, it, the success is so out of your control. I mean, you can make poor decisions. Even on easy though, you can get wrecked so quickly. Oh, come on, we almost made 40. Almost made 40. There was a diamond there. And our moles missed it. Ooh, juicy. <laughs> when it's content, you have to die. Right. What's the time doing? We've just gone past one. So, let's buy some upgrades. Um, diamonds. Oh, you have to train them to dig up diamonds. Well, that majorly sucks. Hmm. That's a good price, but it's very expensive. Whoa. That's also a good price, but it's also very expensive. A 50% discount on village finds. I mean, <clears throat> it literally, like, $400 is nothing. So it might be worth it. Herd size could be nice. But then the size is probably going to be more bang for buck. But we need the drill. We need the drill. Oh, sells three. 12 cells instead of 9. The scanner is amazing, but... Um, timer 2 could be nice. Hmm. So we're going to go for that. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the stream now. I like death's good marks because it can be really... Death's good marks? Is that an FTL thing? I'm not sure. Your fancy lingo has me confused. Death. <laughs> Death skid marks. I am confuddled. Let's just see if I've got FTL installed. Oh, I've never heard of Death Skid Marks before. <laughs> there was actually a really interesting RPG one that was set in the future. Very sci-fi esque. And that looked really good. Kokoski had played it, but this was years ago. Yeah, man, I've enjoyed it, and I'm glad you have. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow anyway. Um, won't be as late because I've got work. Uh, but hopefully, oh, uh, you know what? We might go back to some of this if the guys aren't available. Yeah, we might do some more of this because I've enjoyed this. So, thanks for coming, H. It's been fun as always, man. Have yourself a good night. <laughs>